Today I will show you how to make your very own clear PS3 buttons. Like you like these bad boys. The tools you will need are some latex moulds. Liquid latex thickened. Cast and resin. Cast and resin hardener. Little pot to mix your resin in. Some snips or some pliers. File. Two 20 mil syringes, at least 20 mil. And a lot of PS3 buttons. Then what you do, get your latex. Now what I've done is, um, I ain't got much latex left, so I've cut this just to fill half of it. Get your latex, pour them in, but only pour in about, I oh know, one third, just enough to cover the bottom. Get your buttons, put them in, make sure you give them a good squish around. Now you want to put that in the air and cupboard for, I don't know, at least a day to set. Right, once your first lot has gone off, it will shrink a little. That's why you've got to do it in stages, really. Um, don't try and do it all in one, otherwise it'll make a right mess. Add a bit more. Again, not too much. This is about as much as you want this time. And stick that back in the air and cupboard till it's dry again. It will shrink. Once you've put your final layer of latex in and it's dry, you should have something that looks like this. Nice big thick mould. To get these out, all you've got to do is just push them. 
Let's push them out like that. And then you got some perfect molds to make your resin into. You've got to have that little luggy bit there, otherwise your button will just fall through. Once your moulds are dry and ready, you want to get your casting resin hardener, your little beaker. Now, I'm doing 20ml of casting resin, which is enough to fill these three, which is enough to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 buttons plus 4 D pads. Tip bit into there. You want to get one syringe, and you need 1% of 20 mil, which is 2, so. And you want to square it out what you don't need. Now, if you're working with these syringes, that's how much hardener you need. So the rest, go back into the tub, like so. Squirt that into there. Right, you really want to be doing this outside because this stuff stinks. Get your cast and resin. Want to be pretty precise with your measurements here. Right, that squirts into there. Like that. Right, you mix it up. It goes a different colour, it goes a greeny colour. Like that, that's when you know it's ready. You've got to be pretty damn quick at this bit. Right, and just fill up your your latex moulds. Now you want to be filling them up very, very generously. Overfill them. Squirt a bit on the top like that. Just so you've got every nook and cranny there. Gotta work fast because this stuff goes bloody hard quick. Right. That's that. Now this resin takes about a couple of hours to go off, but I would give it at least a day, maybe two days before you start touching them. Now you don't really want to touch them at all now as I set them because... Right, once your moulds are dry, you should have something that looks a little something like that. Then all you do, pop them out.
some will be better than others you will have to I've got a few different molds here they're all of the same buttons but some are better than others That was fucked. I want you to get these out the mould, they'll still be a bit sticky so just put them in the window ledge for a few more hours. Them. Yeah, check them in the window for a few hours, let them dry out a bit more. Then what we've got to do, is we've got to snap all this off, that'll go a lot, lot harder. Snap all that off, and then we'll start filing down. That's quite a good one. So you need to make sure they've got the little luggy bits on the bottom like that the boys are just full through right, this is the final stage now what you want to do is get your buttons and that just get them your pliers and just break off all the bit tacky bits around the edges try not to break the little lugs off otherwise your buttons will fall through Take your time, just little little snips. And then get your file and just file them down, give them a little nice little file up. And there you have it.